This is a Sports Catastrophe production. Hey there, how there, ho there, it's Jeff Dot Cutter Diamond, welcoming you to another Sports Catastrophe Birthday Boy. As a birthday boy for today, May the 18th, is a hockey star who was, I think, the greatest Finnish player in NHL history. Sorry, Mika Kippersoff. This man, who is now 62 years old, is a superstar. He played for the famous Edmonton Oilers bandwagon hockey team of the 1980s, or firewagon, if you will. And he was the first Finnish born player to get into the Hockey Hall of Fame. His name is Yari Curry. Yari Curry would be a star in the Finnish league for Jokerit. Curry would actually accompany the Finnish national team to play in Edmonton in a game between the Finns and the Edmonton Oilers, before they were in the NHL, of course. So, it was a WHA star of the Edmonton Oilers against the Finnish national team. The funny thing is that, even though the Finns put this as an exhibition game, it counted in the WHA standings. Finland would get crushed 8-4. to four. However, Curry actually impressed Oilers management. Anyway, it was time for the 1980 NHL Draft, and Yari Curry was eligible, but some teams couldn't didn't want to touch him because they thought he had to do military service in Finland. That was legal at the time. Conscription in Finland is a compulsory compulsion for national military service for all adult males. However, Edmonton did know about Curry's thing. Edmonton made inquiries to the Finnish government and found out that Curry did have enough to fulfill his military obligations. So thus, he was eligible to play in the NHL without worrying about the military issues. And Curry actually, and the others waited till the fourth round before getting Curry. Although Edmonton could have drafted Curry a bit higher, if they really were that good, they would have drafted him. Well, let's see. The picks before Gary Curry for Edmonton in 1980 were well. Paul Coffey was sixth overall. So yeah, that was huge. Yeah, that's fine for Edmonton. Yeah, to each his own. Edmonton traded their second round pick to Montreal, and they took Rick Natras. So they didn't have a second round pick. Edmonton had third round pick Sean Babcock. I don't know if it was related to Mike Babcock, but yeah. He went, and then with the 59th pick, or the sixth pick in the fourth round, Yari Curry was picked. Of course, that was the same round as Bernie Nichols was picked by the Kings, but regardless. So Yari Curry went to Edmonton. Curry and Gretzky would be paired up, and it would be very much a prolific scoring duel and all that. The funny thing was that Gretzky assisted on 364 of Curry's 601 career goals, and Curry had to assist on 196 Gretzky goals, despite not always playing on the same line. But anyway, he was nicknamed the Finnish Flash, in Edmonton, before Timo Solani was there. Anyhow, Curry was one of the best defensive forwards in the NHL, despite not winning the Selkie. Edmonton had a core. Curry, Tikkanen, Gretzky, Coffey, Fuhr, Anderson, and Messier, and helped the others win four Stanley Cups in the 1980s. Curry would actually still be part of the Oilers when they went for that Weird Cup in 1990. So Curry did his job. He scored 50 goals in his first 50 games. Unfortunately, the NHL says no because it has to be the first 50 games of the team season. And Curry missed three games. Oh well. But he still led the league in goals in 1986 with 68. He scored 71 goals in 1985, which were a record for goals by right winger until Brett Hall freaking came in the picture. And Yari Curry was known for getting the game-winning goal in Game 7 of the 87 Stanley Cup Final. And 
and more important than that, Curry scored 19 goals in the 1985 postseason, tying it with Reggie Leach of the 76 Flyers. And that still happens today. That's still today. And Curry had four hat tricks, three of them against the Blackhawks in the conference finals. If you look at the 1985 conference finals between Oilers and Hawks, you know how many freaking goals were scored. It was like, whoa. Anyway, it was just amazing and all that. Curry was also instrumental in pass, passing the back to Peter Klima, who scored the triple overtime winner in game one of the 1990 Cup Finals. So, Curry's contract expired. And instead of accepting a new contract for the Oilers or for any other team, he decided to go to Italy and play for Italy. Are you nuts? You go to an Italian hockey league? Don't even want to go back to Finland? Then Curry's rights were traded to Philadelphia and then to Los Angeles. So Curry had an interesting day, May 31st, 1991. He was an Oiler, even though he was in Italy, but then he went to the Flyers and Kings on the same day. Curry was reunited with Wayne Gretzky and went back to LA quickly. And they helped the Kings win the 93 Conference Final against the Leafs. And then they lost in the final to the Habs in five games. Curry was better and all that. But he was more into a more defensive-minded forward. So Curry's point totals were lower. So anyway, Curry would be traded to the Rangers in 1996 for, or, to have the Rangers in their playoff run. But he only put up five points in 14 games in the regular season. But in the playoffs, in 11 games with the Rangers, he scored eight points. Not bad. So basically, Curry left the Rangers to play the, with the Ducks. He was hoping to play with Salani and Korea, the two flying fins on the same line with Paul Korea. Unfortunately, he was reduced to a, sim a smaller role. The Ducks did make the playoffs and got to the second round before he drank up them. After a single season with the Ducks, he decided to go to Colorado. Who were trying to win another Stanley Cup. He got a 600 goal, but the others took care of the Avalanche in the playoffs and he basically retired. He finished his career as the highest scoring European board and, and trained player in NHL history with 601 goals and 1,398 points. Sam Makita had more. But because Makita was raised in Canada, that doesn't work that way. But Curry's records were beaten by Yammer Yager. But he still was a huge Finnish legend and he would be inducted to the Hockey Hall of Fame in 2001. Curry tried his best to help Finland out at World Championships and Canada Cups whenever possible. But, you know, it was huge. So he was actually the longtime general manager of the Finnish national hockey team. And is G he's now GM of Jokerit. And he's actually the owner of Yogurt in the KHL. Why they are in the KHL is beyond me. So Curry's married to a former Miss Finland. They have three daughters and one son. But his first marriage, he had twin boys. So anyway, it was weird and all that. So yeah, May 1991 was a huge day for him. He was traded by the Oilers. Alongside Dave Brown and Corey Foster to Philadelphia for Craig Fisher, Scott Mellenby, and Craig Berube. And then Philly traded him to LA alongside Jeff Chichin for Steve Duchesne, Steve Casper, and a draft pick. So, man, the Kings were looking huge. So, yeah, so 106 goals in 200 playoff games. That's pretty good for him. You know, five Stanley Cups. 
many All-Star Game appearances. The Lady being in 1985, scored the most goals in 1986. His number 17 jersey was retired, alongside his hockey of fame stuff in 2001. Yeah, he's just that damn good. And he was a great player in 1985, the year I was born. Sometimes even better than Gretzky. Actually, not really, but you get the point. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.